What's up folks, good news? I'm COVID free. All right, so I have officially completed my 10 day quarantine for COVID um, and also been able to test negative twice. So if you watched the last video when I said I had COVID, um, you know that once you test positive here in the UAE, you have to get a second test to confirm the positive in the event that you get a false positive. Well, I was all the way positive. And so I had to ride out those 10 days and then in order to be released back into the public, if you will, you needed to test negative twice. So what happened was I went, I tested negative, but then the next day I had a presumptuous positive. Um, and pretty much all that means is that they look, I guess like they found some residue. And so I needed to test a third time to get that third, to get the third negative in my case, since I got the presumptuous positive in order for my Al Halson app to turn green, meaning that I'm all the way negative, I'm not endangering anybody. One of the things that I had to do was do a nasal rinse um, to help and get out anything that might have been, you know, left behind or what what have you to clean out my nasal cavity because apparently uh, whatever variant it is can just linger in your nasal cavity even if you are 100% better. So for those of you who may be having issues testing negative after you've completed your quarantine and you feel fine, you might just have to get a nasal rinse um, and try that out to see if that helps you because it helped me. I can't lie, it feels good to have the opportunity to be free, if you will, or to go where I please, but there is heightened anxiety of me going out into public places because I don't wanna catch COVID again. Thankfully, I didn't feel terrible when I had it, but I just don't want it again. It was super inconvenient. It confined me to my room for days on end, and I just don't want it. So I have to also test frequently out here because I participate in sports, and so every seven days I have to have it, and today I went to go get a test, and I was just on edge. I was like, I just don't need it to be positive. Like, I'm fine. I haven't really been anywhere, but it's just like seeing those red dots on my Al Holson app. For those of you who don't know what Al Holson app, we have an app here in order to enter public places, government buildings, um, and things of that nature, just to show that we have tested positive, I'm sorry, tested negative recently, and you know, we're not endangering anybody. But, uh, so like I was saying, I just don't want to be that person anymore. It wasn't fun, it wasn't fun. <laughs> I can give you a little preview of my app without giving away too much of my information, but pretty much, this is the app. When it's green here, that means that you've tested within probably the past 14 to seven days or so to remain green. I believe you need to have it every 30 days at the moment in order to remain green. And it has like, you know, your, uh, your information for if you've been vaccinated and also your recent test. And that's the one that was red. I have another red one after, um, before that one as well. But you can see my two green ones, which means I'm all good. So the Al Halson app, not everybody's a big fan of it, but I don't mind it. Um, I feel a little bit more protected knowing that somebody has tested within probably the past 30 to 14 days in order to keep it green. So when it's gray, you can't go anywhere. When it's red, you got COVID, you need to be in the house. And when it's green, it means that you have had a test recently and you are free to roam about the country, if you will. Some people may see it as a nuisance, but I don't, I don't mind it. Um, it's better than safety measures that I've had in other places that I've been to where you're around people you have no idea and things are just getting you know more complicated if you will when you want to see friends or you want to see family and it's getting a little awkward to ask those questions like you know are you vaccinated or have you tested recently and the way I've been feeling about COVID in general I just don't want it so now that I have the ability to leave the house I probably still be in the house unless I'm 100% sure that the people that I'm going to be around you know, have been living a safe life. Cause I think like the degrees of separation for people, like you meet up with one person who was around three people the day before, who was around 15 people. Before you know it, you've been exposed to like hundreds of people <laughs> just by that one particular contact. So um, like I said, I want, you know, myself to be safe, my friends to be safe. I want you all to be safe, to take the, the, the precautions necessary to, you know, avoid COVID or even if you contract it to be able to, to heal safely. So please make sure you're continuing to wash your hands, drink plenty of water, take your vitamins, get your rest, get your rest and let's beat this thing together. 
All right, so uh, this was just a quick update, letting you all know that I'm 100%, I'm good to go, but I'm probably still going to be in the house <laughs> thinking of a master plan. I'll check y'all later.